Determine the number of moles found in 17.35 grams of cuprous nitrites. The mass, okay, the mass of cuprous nitrite, 17.35 grams. We said that in uh, the formula that we needed to find, okay, so we had molar mass. Okay, we had mass and we had number of moles. So we know we have this one. We can calculate this one, which means this is what we're trying to find. Okay, so Cooper's nitrate, CuNO2, did you get that? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, because at least if you got that, you know you're at least on the right track. Because how many coppers do we have here? One. How many nitrogen? One. How many oxygen? Here was really important to figure that out. And if you messed up on which cuprous we had, right? If you put the two, so if you put one of the other ones, then you would have uh, messed up the uh, the answer. So the molar mass. I hope you got this: one hundred and nine point five grams per mole. Okay. So we had um, one copper one nitrogen and two oxygen. So what we did was we multiplied each one by their, uh, by their atomic uh, mass okay, to get the molar mass. Okay, so from this, what are we covering up? The N, we're covering up the N and we have the mass on top of the molar mass. So what function are we doing? We're doing division between these two, right? Because the M is on top of the molar mass. So, we get the following. 17.35 grams divided by 109.5 grams per mole. What cancel out? Grams. So our answer will be in? Moles. What's the least number of significant digits in my question? There are four, right? It's the only number that I have. So my answer must have four significant digits. So we've got the following, uh, 0 0.158, okay. but that's how many significant digits? Three, right? And so actually if we got that. I got 1584. 1584, okay. 0 0.1584 moles of cuprous Nitrate. So Pardon? No, you couldn't put U. Yeah, because that's based on atomic uh, mass, the average atomic mass. Okay. So you got 0 0.1583, right? Is that what you said? Oh no, that's well. It would have been based it's, on your calculations, depending on. It's five eight three six and then round six. Well, it's like one five eight three seven, isn't it? Was it? And that's not. Okay, so I'm I'm relying on you guys to do the calculations. But would it matter? Like, well, no, it wouldn't matter because if if you left this, if you left this, right, one point, right, you rounded that incorrectly. Because the number that you're dropping, right, is a five or greater. And in fact, we are actually closer to that than we are to the three. So that's why it would be, you'd lose a mark for that. you lose a mark for that. But you'd get, uh, you know, you'd get, you'd get those marks.